the story of Deborah, Barak, and Yael. After the Israelites settled in the promised land, and after Joshua had died, the people, the Israelites, forgot their promise with God, and they started doing what was evil in God's sight. They did not care for their neighbors. They abandoned widows and orphans. They neglected strangers to their land. They abused their servants and slaves. So God left them to their misdeeds. And the king of Canaan, King Jabin, who ruled in Hazor, and his general Sisera, treated the Israelites like slaves, just like back in Egypt. The Israelites were oppressed cruelly for 20 years. Eventually, the Israelites cried out to God. Deborah, a prophet, was a judge in Israel. A judge was like a hero. She knew what to do. She called for the warrior Barak and said to him, The Lord, God of the Israelites, commands you to take position at Mount Tabor, bringing 10,000 from your tribes. The Lord your God will draw out Sisera, the general of Jabin's army, and God will deliver him into your hands. However, Barak objected. He said to Deborah, You have seen Sisera's chariots of iron. We can't defeat him. Deborah asserted, God will be with you. And Barak replied, I'll go, but you must come with us to inspire the men. Deborah agreed and said, But when you succeed, the credit will not go to you, but to a woman. Barak did defeat Sisera's army, and Sisera fled the battlefield on foot. Sisera took refuge with a woman named Yael. Sisera did not know that Yael was a friend of the Israelites. Yael gave Sisera some milk that put him fast to sleep. Then she hammered a tent peg through his temple. Deborah and Barak sang a long song about Israel overthrowing Jabin's army and praising Yael. The people of Israel enjoyed peace for 40 years until they forgot the promise and turned away from God again.